Hi, you guys. Um, yesterday, I shared with you how um, I created this card. Um, we did a whole step-by-step, -step, and I was playing with my camera, and I know that quite a bit of it, I was up here in the top right-hand corner of the frame, so some people asked me if I would do another tutorial on how I did this ruffle that's down here at the bottom of the card. They really liked the technique, but they said that, you know, for most of the card, I was either moving too fast or out of frame and asked me to redo that. Uh, technique for you. So here we go. Um, what I did was I created or I used crepe paper. This is like that streamer paper that you get from party stores that's like usually 50 cents a roll, a dollar roll, super cheap and I use it a lot. Um, it comes in tons of colors and I have a lot of colors of it. So um, it, it, you can really do a lot with it. I've used it on other cards before that you guys have seen me use where I've taken my Tim Holtz tattered florals and cut the um, cut it with that and then used it. Um, the one thing you need to remember about it though is that if it is colored, it will bleed. So if your hands are wet or you try to spray Lindy's on it, it is going to bleed everywhere. So don't do that. Um, so what I did to create that is I've, I've got my hot glue gun. This is a silicone mat, or it's the healing or the craft mat from Ranger. And if you don't have a craft mat from Ranger, you can also do this on a tile. I have on my work surface, I have these tiles that I got for like a dollar at a hardware store. And they're smooth on the top. Um, I've had them on my work surface for a long time because they really, uh, I didn't have the craft mat for a long time. So you could do it on a surface like this. And you could also do it if you had silicone mats like you bake with, you could also do it on those. Anything that is a non-stick surface. Um, you won't, don't want to try this on the paper and you don't want to try this on, um, you know, like if you're working on your project or whatever, you don't want to do it directly onto your project. But the trick is, is to do it in small pieces. So I know if I'm doing a card, let's see if I have one already cut here. Okay, so I have this card, and I don't really know what the measurements of it are. But if I take and lay that card down, and I start right here, and then that's my guide, I'm going to leave a little bit of glue and come in just a couple of um, inches. And I'm going to place this on here quickly because the, the, the table surface is, is cold, so it's going to dry quick. And I'm just pinching it in the center to gather it up. Then I'm going to come back. Don't worry if it rips. It, that's not a big deal. You can cover that up. Um, add a little bit more glue. And just that fast, the glue is solidifying. So I need, you need to move fast. And basically, I'm just pinching that and pulling it up. And see how it makes that nice gathered pleat? Now, I know this is very similar to the way that the Rena, um, Rena did her trim, where she put the bling on the center of it. The Rena trim, I think, is what she called it. I don't sew. And I find it very difficult to get that needle and thread out sometimes. So if you want a much neater look, you could probably do it with that. But for a card, I was just like, you know what? I think I can do it this way. And see how I'm just heating up that glue. Just pinching that in the center. And see how it's already starting to gather up? And it's not quite wide enough yet. And it's kind of sticking to the surface really well as far as, you know, onto this craft mat. Alright, so that's about as far as I want to go with it. So I'm going to trim it off. It'd help if I found my scissors. Now, to release it from the mat, because it's stuck down to the mat, what I did the other day was I took a bone folder, and not from the end that I just did, because it might not be completely hard yet, but from this end, I just kind of ran that bone folder between the mat and the ribbon, to release it from the mat. I don't want to pull it because if you pull it this tissue paper will rip. But there's my little ruffle. So whenever I glue it onto my project, I kind of usually take my ends and kind of tuck them in a little bit so it's a nice clean surface. And then, you know, on this end just kind of tuck it in. Let me make sure this card's going in the right direction. It's okay. 
So I'm going to just glue it down like normal. And, you know, like I said, keep those tucked in and then place it down on top. And see where that one was ripped? You don't even notice it because of all this other black. Now, what you can do at this point is I like to scrunch it up just a little bit, but if you wanted to leave it flat, you could. Um, in here, you want to hide the center, which is what Rena did. And, and I totally, you know, got partial of this idea from Rena. So, so what you want to do is just take some flat back pearls or something like that and then lay them down to cover up that center piece. Now, what I did in the video was I made a second piece. So let me show you what I did with the second piece. Same concept. Little small pieces. Remember that the work surface is cold, so this glue is going to solidify really fast. You don't want to do too much at one time or it'll be a mess. And basically, like I said, I'm just grabbing the center and pinching it towards the center of the pleat. Just like this. And I'm going to come over here. And be careful because this is hot glue you're dealing with and this paper is very thin so you can burn yourself. This would be cute too if you wanted to use two colors, two different colors. Um, I wouldn't use a hugely contrasting color but you know if you wanted to do um, white and pink it would be so cute or okay. Now that looks like it's enough. So what I'm going to do is trim it off just like I did before. This time I'm going to pull this up tight this way. And then what I did was I came in here and I kind of clipped straight down just like this. And what that did was it put little like grassy like um, pleats in the bottom of it. Which, again, maybe I got this from House of Three. I don't know. Because the Easter time one year, they did this, and they did it with a green crepe paper and made it in East, like Easter grass. So, I don't really know where I got it from. Um, and then I just put glue right here in the center and glued this down right on top. Now... Then I'll flatten this back out a little bit. And I'm going to trim, just take some scissors and trim up those little pieces that are hanging out. But there you go, that's how I did the ruffle. And, you know, as you smush it down or whatever, and play with it, crunch it up, whatever, you just kind of get a really nice uh, ruffle look. So, there you have it. So thank you guys for watching and thank you for inquiring about this. Um, and if you have any other questions about the card the other day, then just let me know. And if you didn't get to see the card the other day, it's the last video that was recorded. So thanks for watching. Please leave me comments.